Morning guys, it's Japan car reveal day. Little morning car spot. Oh, you guys can barely see it. Sick FC on the back of this truck getting transported. Japan. Hi, oh. Did you get some sleep last night? Uh, not enough. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Classic JDM breakfast. Yeah. Kohi, onigiri. Today is reveal day. Hello. Oh, hi -o. Oh, hi -o. Thanks for having me. So not only is today car reveal day, today is the first day of the Top Rank Open House. It's gonna be a good one. It's cool to be here for such a different event, such a special event for Top Rank. They've supported me and we bought all of our JDM cars from them for so long that it's cool that they're revamping, doing bigger and cooler things now. You good morning. Today? I'm ready. I'm hyped right now. It's hot as heck, but today's gonna be an awesome day. It looks pretty awesome. This is awesome, right? Yeah. So, like we told you guys, celebrating Top Rank this week, but also... Oh, Shin is here. Where's Shin? The, Shin. Ah, Shin-san. Hi, nice to you. Hi, oh, right, Before we just hop right into the new Japan car reveal, let's take a look at who's here for Top Rank's open house today. You guys saw the setup yesterday, getting all 34 GTRs stationed up, the inside all set up and ready, and just their cool inventory. This is like, I would say maybe one quarter of their inventory. They have so many cars tucked away back there as well. One in particular that we may go take a look at today. Uh-huh. But and that's besides the point. We also have some really cool vendors here. We have HPI, very yeah. cool. So this is kind of like uh, race car stuff. So yes. you have like gloves, helmet bags, etc. And they cool. do sell everything. We have Sato san, Hi. Hi. This, is and, uh, this is the STF. Yes, you guys remember Sato and Sato's amazing GTR, his personal GTR he's had forever. He's built himself. Sato san actually no longer works here at, I guess we call it TCS now. Yeah, TCS. At TCS. He actually opened up his own shop, which you guys will see later on this week because we're going to be modifying the new car. We'll talk about that when the day comes. But this is Top Rank Shijuoka Technical Factory, which is what Sato owns now. Then we've got, of course, the basic Top Rank booth here something also super cool do you guys do a lot of work with work yes we do have a lot of relation with work wheels so so cool look at this zr 10 oh, big baller that's tight and then last but not least we have factory gears. You guys remember factory gear from when we raced at Attack Challenge. They were kind enough to help us out with some tools for that event. And we even brought them back to America. This is our current tool chest. So we've got some real good JDM stuff back home. Uh huh. As you guys know, about five years ago, I purchased my R34 GTR here in Japan and got it built over the course of the five years of it being in Japan. And when that car was no longer able to be registered because of coming to America, we shipped over my Tokyo Drift Evo, which is what we've had most recently here in Japan to drive around for the past two years which has been amazing with that coming to a close as well because the tokyo drift evo only had a year visa i knew it was time to buy something to keep in japan something that's not necessarily going to come to america but that we can leave here in japan and have for our forever japan car much like the r34 getting it built here driving it experiencing what real japan car culture and getting your car built in japan is like i want to finally introduce you guys after a year of waiting say hello to the new japan car
say hello to our new 1998 Evo 5. As you guys can tell, this is an Evo 5, but you have a, a Evo, like, you have a different bumper which came from Evo 6. Evo 6. We've had a lot of good guesses over the past year. You guys know we've been deciding this for so long. It was between an Evo, an S15, or an RX-7. And how the Evo came to be about, well, number one, we got the banana Evo. I think the yellow is what really drew me to the car. For what we do in Japan, the Evo just makes the most sense. So as you guys know, we love to do toge runs. We travel all the time. And for the Evo, it's four doors, all wheel drive. It's such an amazing driving car. It's light. It's the perfect all around toge car while being able to fit all of my stuff when I'm traveling here. Now, I wish I could tell you guys that this is the most pristine, clean Evo 5 you will ever see, but it's actually quite the opposite. It is a perfect blank canvas on what to build on here in Japan. It gives me the option to really modify this thing and make it my own. It's not perfect. It's got maybe like three different shades of yellow. I call it the uh, the three shades of banana, but it's mine and it's awesome. Much like the R34 GTR, we're going to build this thing and make it into the ultimate Toge Evo 5. Now you guys got a little bit of a look on the exterior. It's faded. It's a little bit rough, but Again, it's something that we can build upon, make better, and just make my own. Interior is actually beautiful. Again, it's just bone stock. The entire car is stock. Other than these wheels, we do have some new work wheels on some Bridgestone RE71 RS to get ready for our little toge trip. Other than the wheels, the car is completely stock. Again, I did tell you guys we're gonna head over to the Shizuoka Technical Factory later this week and get this car modified a little bit more, but overall, the car is pretty much stock. Oh, it's got a, it's got a very distinct, Smelly JDM smell in here. Key, should we start it for them? Sure. Here you go. First start in the Evo 5. Just a good Evo. So the car currently has 103,000 kilometers, which is probably around 70K miles. Mm -hmm. 70,000 miles, so not too bad. We've got a crusty old turbo gauge that we can replace out of here. But again, there's so much to build off of with this car and just make my own, which is what I'm really, really excited for. Still got the OEM steering wheel. Apple CarPlay in here. OEM Recaros, which are actually pretty freaking nice. But I, should we go to ASM and get some nice Recaros? Sure. I think we gotta do, at least for the driver's seat, a bucket seat to make this truly the ultimate, the ultimate Toge Evo. I am so, so excited. Shocking compliance spec. <laughs> Sounds like an Evo. We'll go over like modification specs and stuff that I can actually do because again, we have to make sure that this is shocking compliant, but I just am in love. When I saw this car a year ago, when we actually decided to buy it, it just felt like the one. You know, you guys know when you see the car and you're like, that's it. You remember Masa when, we, when I made the decision? Yeah. I saw you guys get this in your inventory and I was like, I want that. And it's been killing me having to keep this a secret for so long here at Top Rank, but now's the perfect time. Both the R34 and the Tokyo Drift Evo are back at home. And this car is my permanent Japan car. This car is not coming back to America. It is importable, but it's staying here and it's going to live here so that we can build it, drive it, have all of the experiences in many, many more memories, right? Yep. Masa? And we're starting that on this trip. Um, show them underneath yeah. the hood. I gotta give you guys the full walk around of this car. So a little bit of fun fact. Yeah. Actually, this car's previous owner, Gary, is your fan. No way. Yeah, he watched <laughs> your videos of you getting the R34 and stuff. So shout out to Gary if you're watching. I sold a car to Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> I sold your car to Dustin. <laughs> Gary, I'm gonna take good care of her. She's ours now. I'm so pumped. Let's take a look at the 4G63. Oh yeah. Nice, but oh, we do have an air intake. Got a Tomei turbo heat shield. But other than that, she's pretty crusty. Again, maybe monster. Who knows? We do have a couple of ideas on where I want to get this car built at. And it's not going to be a crazy, massive, high horsepower Evo. It's going to be very much like my 34, where it's OEM plus, perfect for ripping on the streets and driving every day. But that's the plan for this Evo. And I hope 
you guys are excited. Now again, I really hope you guys are excited for the Evo 5. I know we're coming from an R34 GTR and this isn't a perfect Evo. This isn't- The mint condition, this, tell me Mac in it or whatever, right? <laughs> this isn't, yeah, this isn't the, the most perfect Evo, best condition, but it's a blank canvas. It's a great starting point and it's gonna be the best car for me to build here. And like I said, make my own. It's not perfect, but we're gonna make it our perfect. And I'm super, super excited to be able to do that here in Japan. So you guys saw we have the brand new work wheels. Originally we had some big beefy spec wheels, but due to shock and compliance, as I told you guys a little bit about with the R34 GTR, we had to change those wheels and add these new work wheels. Which ones are these? Are these? These, these are the ZR10 one piece wheels, uh, 17 inch 9J plus 38 offset, wrapped with a uh, beefy, beefy. <laughs> Bridgestone RE71 RS. 255 40s on this guy, which again is gonna be really nice for Toge. I want this to be the ultimate Toge Evo 5. That's what we love to do here in Japan. We love to travel, go on some of the best roads. I want this car to be able to attack the Toge so good. We're not gonna necessarily make the most power, have the craziest, fastest Evo, but we are gonna have one of the best handling Evos, or at least that's the goal. We're starting that this week. There's a whole build plan for it, and I'm super excited to start this new journey with you guys. And like I previously told you with the R34, once one door closes, it opens up another for a completely different story, and it's time for the Evo 5 story. Oh yeah. So we definitely gotta get this rally art sticker off. That guy's pretty crusty. No. It's gotta should, come off. No, you should keep it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Do we keep the crusty rally art or do we take it off? Now there's so many little Easter eggs that I've shown you throughout the vlogs, but if you're really paying attention, a couple of you guys have caught it in the previous videos, but I put this legend sticker back on it over a year ago when I actually bought this car. And every time we would come look in the lot, I would be telling you guys that the car is like somewhere in here. Some of you guys have spotted it and, oh, does this have a turbo timer? Yep. Freaking, why do Evos have turbo timer? All my Evos have had a turbo timer. That's so funny. Some of you guys have spotted it and I thought that was so cool, but it's official. The Banana Evo 5 is ours and it's our new permanent Japan car. She is uh, tired, but it's <laughs> you can make it better. I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna love her. She just needed needed my touch here. Need, need the TLC. <laughs> Now, before we can take this thing all around Tokyo and even on our Toge trip for this week, we are going to be stuck here at the top rank open house for the next two days, hanging out with everybody, hopefully seeing some of you guys here in Japan and showing off the Evo for their open house. But after the next couple days, we're going to be taking this car out for its first ever Toge trip. Oh, Kenny, you're fell in love. We definitely got to get these harnesses out of the car because those are not good. But the car's, the inside's so clean. It just got it a, it's got that, that smelly JDM stench in here. At least it's not a cigarette smell. Thank God. Do I, do I leave the smelly, stinky JDM scent? Or do we get like a, maybe like a, like a tree frog or something? <sighs> Little tree frog guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe we have to, we have to make a, a pit stop. Oh, a pit stop, steering wheel. Upgrade them from the OEM Momo, get a nice steering wheel. There's lots of little pe bits and pieces before we actually get into the build that I want to do with this car, but uh, oh, it makes me so excited again. Just like how I got how I was when I first got my 34 and ready to just like piece it together and do those small things that make it my own. That's how I feel with the Evo right now. Break. Lunch time. On this ever since I landed, Masa. You want katsu or you want uh, soba? Both? Quick lunch break. This is what I needed. A little bit of cold soba, which is like dipping noodle, and then katsu don, which is like a rice and katsu bowl. You guys have never had soba. Definitely right, guys. Especially on a hot day in Japan, the best. This is why we came to the open house. 
congrats to Top Rank. They're about to do their opening ceremony for the new TCS department. been a day, but I have to give a big shout out to our viewer, Alex. I have to give a shout out to our viewer, Alex, for hooking us up. This is, this is for you, Maso. Oh! Thank you, Alex. I know you've been having a long day. Yeah, Pop you that know. bad boy open. Wait, let me get mine. Wait, 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 wait. We have a long night ahead of us, so we're gonna need these. Shout out to Ghost, thank you. Come on. Come on. Goodbye. Ah, freshing. We have a long night ahead of us, Masa. Yeah, I know. I need to get a shower. <laughs> Time to go out of the dungeon. Special delivery. If you guys follow Larry, you would have seen the full build on his R34 GTR, just refreshed by Garage Yoshida. It feels so good. It is beautiful, dude. That's some good base side blue, man. It's very deep blue. Mine was called Bayside Blue because it was parked outside for 25 Dude, years. Not anymore. No. Now it's just so, so blue. And Bayside Blue infused um, full carbon Nismo style lips. Congrats, dude. This is insane. Uh, now it just gets me so excited to be able to take this thing out tonight. We're gonna be ripping this thing around Tokyo for the first time ever, heading to some of our favorite areas. I'm just so ready to finally drive this thing. I, ever since I bought it last year, I have never ever driven it. And actually, now that I think about it, I've never even driven an Evo 5. So I'm actually just very, very excited to be able to hop in this thing and finally drive it after over a year of building it. We did it. Top rank open house day one complete. Finally time to officially register the Evo. So they had to go ahead and move my Evo for me so that they could clean up the booth over there. Also went ahead and put on our new plate. I'm gonna have a lot of questions about this, so I'll bring it up now. We do have a wall plate and a wall plate in Japan signifies that this car is a rental. If you guys are new here, you didn't watch the Japan series or you just don't know. So the way that I'm actually able to drive this car in Japan without being a resident, being able to technically legally get this thing registered is Top Rank registers this car themselves as a rental car and lets me drive it so it is insured fully and registered under Top Rank. And that's where the wall plate comes from. But it's registered under Top Rank as a rental so that I am able to legally drive this thing around. Now, before we can officially take this Thing off the lot. We have my international driver's permit. We're gonna go sign some papers, and this thing is officially registered on the road, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Let's go. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Let's ETC. start. Yes. No more retractable arm. No more retractable arm. For what do you, you mean? When I had the, e the Tokyo Drift Evo here, I was on the left-hand drive, so I'd use a retractable arm oh, every right. single time, and I couldn't have ETC because. ETC is only registrable for a Japanese car with Japanese plates. Oh, Nightmare, but the Evo 5 has it, we're good. It's official. The Banana Evo is ready for the road. I freaking love this car. I am so excited, guys. I have such an awesome plan that we'll explain when we actually do the modification video later on this trip. But it's time to pack this thing up, grab some dinner, and we're gonna take this thing out in Tokyo for the first time ever. So pumped. See the most iconic part about the Evo 5? They work. Oh, baby, let's go. Yes, it looks so sick. Iconic Evo fog lights. This is gonna look so good. Nighttime toge running. Oh, I'm so pumped. Just nighttime in general. Guys, look at the Evo. I hope you're as stoked as I am. It's mismatched. It's got some blemishes, but I don't know. It just has personality. This Evo has definitely seen some things and I'm excited to bring it back from the dead and give it some love and care and make this thing into the ultimate Toge Evo. She's gonna take us places and I am so damn excited. Oh, I have goosebumps. I, I haven't felt like this since we bought the R34 and it just makes me so damn happy. Oh, I guess you know what we can do? Peel her off. Yes. Now it's official. Ice cold AC. We've got Apple CarPlay in here, which was definitely so something I really wanted in the car because driving in Tokyo is not, not super fun. We need a new steering wheel. We definitely need a new shift knob. Give her some love. Oh, gross. That was something that just flew out of the freaking air vent. That's disgusting. <laughs> she needs a little bit, but 
That's the beauty of it, guys. Time for our first drive in the Evo 5. Well, I hate to leave you guys on the cliffhanger, but our first drive and some night car meets is gonna be in the next episode. I have to give a big thank you to Top Rank for storing this car and helping me find this car, keeping it a secret for me for over a year, which is crazy, but I'm so happy to finally reveal this car to you guys. We're currently in Hakone right now. You guys will see this later in the week, uh, but the car feels fantastic and I have like slight inclinations that the car is not stock at all. It feels awesome so I'm excited for you guys to see the next episode and everything that we have going on for the week I have an awesome episode going live for you guys tomorrow so I hope you enjoyed the reveal and just this massive overview of the car I know I talked a lot but there's so much to say about this awesome car and I'm just excited for this blank canvas and this new build for Japan it gives me like a whole new reason just to come back here and want to build this thing so I'm excited I hope you guys are excited and stay tuned for the next episode and really everything that we have coming up because it's been an epic trip so far. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below on what you think of the Banana Evo. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you stay tuned for the entire journey. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.